my turn to use the computer now. No, it isn't. I'm using the computer. I'm already logged in, so go away. It's my turn. I'll just stand here and annoy you. Mom, this... My sweet little brother is annoying me. No, I'm not. You're so annoying sometimes. I wish you were my brother. Sam, get over here and finish your chores. Ha, told you it was my turn. Hi, guys. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I think my brother's an alien. He's such a pain. And then I end up saying things I don't mean. At the time, I'm just so mad, but later on, I feel bad about it. We have disagreements all the time, and we always end up fighting. It's exhausting. There's got to be a better way. Any ideas out there? Any at all? Hey, Todd. This is Colleen. What's up, Colleen? Not much. I just wanted to let you know you're not alone. I have disagreements with my brother, too, and even my friends sometimes. So I know what it's like. So what do you do? I'm tired of yelling. Well, actually, I did figure something out the other day when I got into a disagreement with my friend Emily. It was Friday. I had just gotten home when Emily called to make plans for that night. Hi, Colleen. It's the weekend. What do you want to do? We should do something fun tonight. I have an idea. Let's go see a movie. That sounds great. What do you want to see? I don't know. I'll see whatever. Meet me here by 6? Sure. I'll ask my mom. See you later. Bye. Emily takes forever to get ready, so I wasn't surprised when I got there and she was still getting dressed. So go ahead and tell me how great I look. Are you kidding me? What? You don't like it? Well, first of all, that's my good shirt. I let you borrow it. Second of all, you're too dressed up. Third of all, that's my shirt. Your shirt? My mom just bought this for me. That's my shirt. No, it's not. Oh my gosh, you're so stupid sometimes. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Well, at least I don't spend all my time admiring myself in front of a mirror. Well, at least I'm not a tomboy. Prima Donna. Tomboy. Prima Donna. Tomboy. Wow, that didn't go so well. That disagreement got really ugly. Emily knows I hate being called a tomboy, and I know people tease her about being a prima donna. So we were being mean to each other. So what happened? Well, I went home really upset, and I thought about it. Then I talked to my mom about it. She gave me two pieces of advice as to how to avoid or keep an argument from getting ugly. Stay calm and don't get personal. Emily and I made up a few days later. But after a while, we got into another disagreement. So Colleen, did you finish your paper on the Great Depression? You know, it's due tomorrow. No, I don't think it's due tomorrow. It's next Thursday. No, you're wrong. If you didn't finish it, you're gonna fail. I know, but it's due next Thursday. You always get your assignments mixed up. This is a big part of our grade. I disagreed with Emily, but I wasn't about to get into an argument. You know, Emily? Maybe you're right. I'll take my assignment book when we get home. Then we'll know for sure. Okay. The disagreement was over. So staying calm and not getting personal helped you to handle your disagreements? Thanks for sharing, Colleen. Okay, bye. Oh, it's Faye. Did you ever have a disagreement with someone about an idea? Yeah. Sometimes working with other people can be difficult. Tell me about it.
I was working with a group of kids. We were supposed to do a project on Abraham Lincoln, and everyone had different ideas of what to do. So we decided to let everyone present their idea to the group. Sean went first. Okay, so I thought we could write skits and perform them in front of the class. We could make costumes. That sounds nice, but totally boring. But I wasn't finished. Yeah, but I can tell where you're going, and I think my idea would work better. I think everybody would agree that my idea of doing a video would be much cooler. That's a good idea too, Samantha, but maybe we should listen to the rest of Sean's idea. Thanks. Well, what I was saying is we could do skits based on important events in Lincoln's life, like his inaugural speech, the Gettysburg Address. Okay, that's lame. Here's my idea. But you weren't even listening to me. Samantha, you're sitting there doodling. I just don't like what I'm hearing. Why don't we let Sean finish? You mean he's not done yet? That's it. I am finished. Miss Jenkins, can I have a pass? For what? Well, I can't work with Samantha. Whoa, what's going on? I want to know. She's saying my ideas are stupid and boring. That's not good. Why don't we walk over there and talk about it? Okay, so tell me what's going on with this group. We are going to let everyone tell their ideas for the project, but Samantha keeps interrupting Sean. That's because his ideas are lame. No, they're not. Okay, listen, when you work in a group, there's always gonna be different ideas and differences of opinion. Just because you disagree doesn't mean you have to be rude or inconsiderate to the other person. Considerate means what, Faye? Well, like to listen to the other person? Yes. What else, Samantha? Be nice. Anything else, Sean? Don't say mean things. Exactly. You can think and feel different about a lot of things, but when you disagree, you can't be rude about it. You have to be considerate. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. So that's what we did. And guess what? Sean's idea was pretty cool. And even Samantha agreed. You just need to be considerate of others. Thanks, Faye. So to disagree respectfully, you have to be considerate of others. Listen to the other person and don't be negative. It's not nice. Got it. All day my brother annoys me and it seems like whatever I do, the fighting just gets worse. Anyone got any ideas out there to help? Oh, hey Aaron. I got into a fight with my mom a few days ago. That's never good. Yeah, but I learned something about how to get my point across without getting her upset. Well, let's hear it. Well, here's what happened. I got this invitation to a sleepover for my friend Angie. She's older than me, but we go to school together and became friends this year. Hey mom, guess what? I got an invitation to go to a sleepover at Angie's house. Angie, do I know her? Is she in your class? Well, no, but we eat lunch together every day. It's just that she's a couple years older. It's next Friday night. What do you think? Uh, I don't think you should go. What? Why? Well, I don't know Angie or her parents. You never let me do anything. That's not true. Yes, it is. You treat me like a baby. I do not. You're ruining my life! That sounds like an argument I've had with my mom lots of times. Well, it gets nasty, and I don't like fighting. But you figured out a way to avoid the fighting. I'd like to hear that. Well, it wasn't my idea. I learned it from my older sister, Selena. So when mom said no, what did you say? I said, you never let me do anything. Well, that's your mistake. That's not the way to do it. What did I do wrong? You said, you never. That makes it seem like you're blaming her. Here's the trick. Use I messages. You want to tell her how you feel and what you want. What do you mean? OK, you play mom, and I'll be you. You can't go. You're too young. Mom, I feel angry when you tell me that I'm too young. 
I want you to let me do more things with my friends. Oh, I get it. You see, you're respecting her position, but telling her how you feel. That's it? One more thing. You have to listen. I listen? I mean really, really, really listen, so that you understand. All right. How do I do that? You could ask a question. Huh? Let's practice again. You be mom and tell me why you don't want me to go. You can't sleep over her house. I don't know who she is and she's much older than you. So what you're saying is because you don't know her and because she's two years older than me, you won't let me sleep over? You see, take what she says and turn it into a question. Then what? Then add your I message. I kind of get it. Listen and use I messages. Thanks. I'm going to go ask mom again. Good luck. Hey, Mom. Keep you talking about the sleepover again? I told you I just don't feel comfortable with letting you sleep over a girl's house who's so much older than you, especially since I don't know her. So what you're saying is you're worried about Angie because she's older and you don't know her? Exactly. Mom, I feel frustrated when you don't let me do things with my friends. I have lots of friends you don't know. Maybe you could talk to Angie's mom about the sleepover. That sounds like a good idea. I'll call her parents, talk about the sleepover, and then we'll see how I feel. Okay, thanks, Mom. You're welcome. So what happened? I got to go, and we didn't even have to fight about it. So listening and I messages helped to resolve the disagreement peacefully. Well, yeah. Thanks, Erin. So what you're saying is, when you disagree with someone, you can avoid the argument and respectfully disagree. Great idea. Sometimes, when you disagree with someone, you can feel angry or frustrated, and the disagreement can turn ugly and hurtful very quickly. So remember to stay calm and don't make it personal. Other times, you might not agree with someone else, but it's important to be respectful by being considerate of their feelings and ideas. And we saw that really listening to someone and using iMessages can help you to communicate your feelings when you're having an argument. So, those are five good ways to respectfully disagree. Sam, you can use the computer now. My little brother.